A viewer sent us this alarming video. Hundreds of people packed together outside a business in South Suburban Blue Island. No one seems to be following the COVID-19 rules. CBS 2 Suzanne Lavigneau is always investigating. And Suzanne, you reached out to the owner for answers. Erica, I reached him by phone and I asked him about the video. I even sent it to him to watch it. I asked him if he felt that the guidelines were being followed. I asked him about capacity levels. He told me to talk to Blue Island. I pressed him again about capacity levels seen outside of his venue. And he basically told me nothing when it came to the outdoor events. He essentially hung up on me. This Snapchat video shows a recent party at The Vault in Blue Island. We are not showing the faces of those gathered. We have reason to believe it's a recent party because we saw two people wearing masks in the afternoon when the party started. As the evening progressed, the crowd grew. There appeared to be hundreds of people gathered under tents in close contact and not wearing masks. Blue Island Mayor Domingo F. Vargas says Blue Island police have gone to this venue three times since the start of phase four, which was over two weeks ago. During two visits, police found the vault was not in compliance with social distancing, mask wearing and occupancy. The mayor says the outdoor limit for this party during phase four would be no more than 416 people with social distancing taking place. The owner was given notice to comply with the local and state mandates during the pandemic and was made aware of the guidelines for social distancing and mask wearing. The vault isn't alone in Blue Island when it comes to compliance. A bar had its business license suspended for five days in June for not complying with closing time. A restaurant was cited for exceeding outdoor table capacity. Now, I've been told by the mayor that business owners have been given in writing and in person the guidelines for the phase four situation right now. And the mayor of Blue Island also telling me that he is now in the process of looking at legal and non-legal possibilities to deal with the non-compliance issues found by police at the vault. Suzanne Lemonio, CBS2 News.